Today I'm going to show you how to get these super sparkly blue ombre nails with little bubbles bubbling up to the tropical blue-green surface. Oh, that sounds so nice. This tutorial is inspired by the stunning tropical paradises around the globe and it's a lot easier than it looks and of course a great nail look for summertime. Starting out with some fresh clean nails, just like mine right here. The first thing you need to do is apply a base coat to your nails to help protect them from becoming discolored and turning yellow and all that really icky stuff. And you can just pretty much use any clear nail polish you have. I used my top coat for this step. Okay, so moving on to the next step. After your base coat dries, we're gonna start by applying a beautiful light teal or mint color first. And just polish your entire nail with this color, polish all your nails with this color. And this color is inspired by the beautiful blue-green waters of the tropics. And it kind of reminds me of the Bahamas or Jamaica. I love it so much. So after applying the mint green, you just wanna grab several makeup wedges for this next step. And this is what we'll be using to create that cool gradient effect. Next, taking this darker blue-green polish inspired by the medium depths of the tropical ocean, I'm going to apply a generous amount of this color onto the corner of the sponge, then lightly dab this color onto the middle section of your nail. And I recommend starting out with light taps and then building up the color. Then just flip the sponge to the opposite side with no polish and dab the outer edge of the darker teal to create that grainy gradient effect. Then just dab lightly onto the mint green color to kind of make it look like it's fading together. Together. Then you just want to let it dry before applying the next color. And this is what it should look like. And if it doesn't look like this, I recommend you start over. I'm sorry to say that. So just repeat the same steps on the other hand or on the other nails and you're finished with the first color yay and for the last ocean blue color i'm going to be using this darker shade of blue inspired by the deeper and darker depths of the tropical ocean where all those weird looking fish live and i'm just going to whip out a brand new makeup wedge and repeat the same steps except instead of applying a light amount you want to make sure you cover the entire bottom of your nail and then flip over the wedge and slightly work the color up into the darker teal and and just be extra careful because you don't want to completely cover the teal. Just start out by lightly dabbing until you get that perfect gradient look. Oh, and just a tip, if you do accidentally cover the teal, just take some more of the teal onto another sponge and work it down towards the blue a bit. And this will help to correct any major teal damage. Ah, don't want to have any teal damage. <laughs> So now that we're nearing the end of our makeup wedge adventure, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a little polish on your fingers. So use a Q-tip or in my case a non-fuzzies sticking to your fingernail polish makeup sponge like these that work a lot better to take off all of the excess polish on your fingers. Next, I'm going to be using this white nail striper to create these extremely hard designs. Okay, so obviously I'm just kidding. It's fun part time, making the bubbles bloop bloop. Okay, Breland, stop. So using the tip of the brush, I'm just gonna begin dotting the bubbles in several wavy lines on each nail. And you can just have lots of fun with this and create your own bubble paths, I guess you could call them. And as you can see, I kept going back and forth on my nails because I thought it would look even better if I made more bubbles. I love bubbles. Oh yeah, and you don't really necessarily, really, really necessarily, I don't know what I'm talking about, need a nail striper to perform this bubble magical trick all you really need is a toothpick and some white polish or a dotting tool it doesn't really matter use whatever you have i mean use you could use that starfish right there whatever now it's time to sparkle like the ocean too so next taking this blue green glitter polish inspired by the sparkling tropical ocean itself i'm gonna apply this over the tiny little ocean murals i've polished onto my nails and this will intensify your already magnificent little mini paintings Yes, I'm now adding more sparkles. So using this white glitter nail polish, I'm just gonna polish the tips of my nails with this. You wanna make sure your ocean sparkles on top too. And then for our last and final step, apply a top coat over your little works of art and you are finished. drown with envy when they
they see these sparkling blue ombre nails. So thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. And I'll see you next time. Get it? See? Like the ocean sea? Get it? Okay, bye. I'm a little dolphin swimming in the ocean. I see a pretty mermaid swimming in the ocean. I asked her to swim with me to the other side of the ocean. She said no, so I swam by myself in the ocean. Here comes a great big shark. Now she's swimming with me in the ocean. That's what she gets. Now it's time for the glitter curtain anthem. Please subscribe to become.